just quickly complete the Druidic Ritual because it's good quest points, it unlocks the Herb Lore skill which is obviously extremely important and then also I do get some books sometimes from experienced homes and stuff like that when I go to the school thing, the random event and I can now use that on Herb Lore, previously I could not do that but now I can so any Herb Lore experience that I can unlock possibly is great. This is actually a requirement for the recipe for disaster quest line, but I'm just trying to finish off some easy quests currently and this is going to be the cook's assistant quest. The reward from it is nothing really, 300 cooking experience and I already have like, what do I have, 45 so that really doesn't make a difference, but as I said it's a quest point and it is a requirement. And it's easy, so I just finished it off. Also, I was actually looking at some diaries when I was doing this quest, and I realized the Ardoin diary is actually really important to do. It gives a really good cape, and look at this. The easy diary is f so easy. I think the only thing that might be annoying that I can just see from now is maybe go to the fish trawler. I think that might need a quest. I might be wrong on that though. I'm going to have to look into every each one of these steps. And then I think that... Uh, the rusted sword thing might be annoying as well as the, uh, I think there's going to be one where I have to go to the fighting thing. I, I can't remember what it, there you go. Enter the combat training camp north of Ardoin. And I think that does require a quest, so I'm going to have to look into this, but I think this is what I'm going to go for right now. So I've been doing a couple of the easy ones that I just needed to like pretty much go there and then talk to someone or just click on something real quick and they're now done. So the ones that we have left is I need to get the rusted sword which requires like 15 thieving because you need to get them from one of the ham members. You can get it from the crazy archaeologist but that's just way too high level for me currently. So I will be needing to get 15 thieving for that. And then after that I also need to get one of these silks that you know you get from the silk stall and then you can sell it to the silk trader after a while because... You can't immediately because he's like, dude, you just stole from me. What the fuck are you doing? Anyways, uh, 60 coins for you get for that. That's pretty neat. But that also re unlocks this thing, which we need 20 thieving for. So I will be needing overall 20 thieving. And that just automatically completes the one where you steal a cake as well. That's 5 thieving. Uh, and then the combat training camp does require me to complete the quest Biohazard. Which is a requirement for recipe for disaster and underground pass and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of need that anyways. And then the... I think the... That's it. That's it actually. So that's all I need to do, 20 thieving, biohazard quest, and that's pretty much it. So let's do it. Now before I can do biohazard, I need to complete the plague city quest, and this is as a matter of fact like the fourth time I complete this quest across all my characters, so I pretty much knew this like just off memory, so it was really easy to do, this is going to be the end of it. 2.4k mining experience, that's actually a good head start, so let's see how much that actually is, that is level 15 from 1 to 15, I'm not going to complain whatsoever, let's do biohazard. And that is the biohazard quest completed and also I got 1.2k thieving and I was actually 17 prior to completing this quest. And now I have 15 experience of 20 which is actually what we need for one of the steps in the diary. And that is for the silk stall, it should be 20. One of the steps is to sell back, I think it's one silk to the trader. So I need to do that as well. But for now I think I will head over to the combat training area and just complete that step which was the big one. Now this is going to be the last challenge for the Ardoin Easy Diary, so let's just do that real quick. Let's get 60 GP from the Silk. I had to wait half an hour in-game, I couldn't even log out to be able to sell it to him. And there we go, and that should be everything. So I think we should go over, there you go, completed. And I think we should now go over to some girl in a bar or something, talk to her and we should be able to get the cape, I do believe. I'm getting a cape from a drunk girl who probably didn't do shit. And she's called Two Pints. Come on. Let's get the reward then. Let's get the cape. I don't know if it costs anything. Uh, I don't know. 200 death runes. You have 10% better chance of thieving from stalls. Alright. I know the cape is good. Let's just get it on with. There we go. We got an antique lamp as well. I guess we put that in herb lore. I guess. Because. Wait. We can't? Oh shit. I need 30. Alright. So. What do we put this in? Uh, I would assume like crafting, maybe? Or agility? Yeah, crafting. Let's do crafting. I think that's quite an annoying skill, so let's do that if I can find it. Where the hell? There you go. Crafting and complete for how much experience? 2.5k, nothing too amazing, but we got a level for it, so that's pretty cool. So let's equip this cape now. Sweet! That was easier than I expected, actually. 
I asked around a bit and apparently fletching is a really good way of making money on an old school character and what you want to do is you want to make longbows and then you want to sell them to the general store. And if you get to like you longbows or that kind of stuff like that tier you can start alking them and actually make some good profit. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing woodcutting and fletching for a while because I need money for Lawrence because like doing quests and not having teleports is actually quite a pain and also I will need money for just buying runes in general so I, I think it's time to do some fletching and woodcutting my current fletching level is 11 so I'm just going to cut I'm just going to cut to when I'm pretty much done with it I think oh shit I just got a magic seed from a bird's nest uh, that's pretty cool all right so I have actually collected a bunch of these willow short balls now but the thing is when you actually sell them to the general store they drop in value so quick it's actually crazy I sold five of them they dropped from 80 GP to 50 GP let's say like 10 of them and then check again and they're 20 GP so even though it is some good money that you can get if you world hop like all the time it takes so long to actually get a decent amount of money from it so i'm going to just sell like 50 or something i'll hope world to get the initial bonus and i'll sell 50 again and i'll get at least some money for it the current stats i have though from it is 42 fletching which is actually really good i'm happy with that and 47 wood cuttings so i got 11 wood cutting levels overall and 42 fletching so just skill wise that is actually really good so no matter what i'm happy so we ended up getting 10,400 for it which is not too bad because i also have 9k in the bank so we have 19k now so i can buy some runes with that some law runes some i don't know mind runes whatever i want to use so it's not too bad but i do also have an easy clue scroll that i got well i can't remember when i got it but i do have it at least and uh, I didn't want to do it at the time because I was doing the Ardoin Diaries things, but now I just want to do something fun. So let's see if we can actually complete the first easy clue of the account. So let's just see how much money we have. There you go, 19.5k. And if we just quickly check, there is the easy clue scroll. This is actually what I wanted to see from one of the clue scroll steps that I would receive. This is actually step number two already and I need to get some items. Now I was looking at the requirements of these items even though I kind of already knew them but I was just looking up the coif one and the iron chain body I do have the requirement for. I think there's a shop I can just buy that from and if I can't I guess I have to do some mining and smithing. We will have to see on that part. The leather chaps I can just easily craft and then the coif. Now the coif requires 20 ranged to be able to be equipped, so I will need 20 ranged and in the next clip guys I will be showing you all that I needed to do to get this done. Just quickly took a trip over to Varrock and I bought the iron chain body which was just bought from the vendor that I sold all the steel plate bodies to in my last video and then also I went over to the ranged store and just bought a bunch of these bronze arrows for some money as well as an oak short bow because I need 20 range to be able to equip the coif and the coif is actually quite annoying to get the leather chaps not a problem because I can just pick up the cow hides and just craft it because I have the level for it so no problems there however the coif actually does require 20 ranged which I'm currently training but also either 38 crafting to be able to make it so I'm missing six levels for that or 32 quest points and you can just buy it off a vendor in the champions guild now 32 quest points is a bit more far off in my opinion I think 19 to 32 will take longer than picking like 900 flax I think about that and that also includes obviously 900 bowstrings that I get that I can make bow bows out of in the future and for alk money and all that kind of stuff so I think the best way of doing it is just pick those flax just like I did before and then spin them and then get 38 crafting and make that coif and let's complete the easy clue step with that. Alright here we go this is a 38 crafting and I have like 1400 bowstrings in the bank now and that is the coifs. So now I'm going to head over and make the leather chaps as well as the coif and let's complete the easy clue step. Let's get on with this now we have the coif we have the iron chain body as well as the chaps so let's just go here and do the bow emote there we go let's talk to Yuri and complete the step so there we go it took some time but it's now done and this one should be easy. I'm not sure if this is going to be the reward but it might be so I'm just going to record here and see what we get and it is the reward and it actually is a trimmed item even though it's an H oh amulet of magic that's actually cool I don't have an amulet at all so that's a pretty good one. Uh, Black Shield Age 4, I mean it's a trimmed item, so it probably looks pretty cool, let's see that, let's zoom in uh, just a second. So yeah, that's pretty cool to get a trimmed item on the first clue, as well as the Amulet of Magic, it's going to be 
pretty useful actually. As I said earlier in the video, I wanted to make some money to be able to buy some law runes, so you can buy them from the store for 240 GP, so let's see if I buy 10, is the value of them going to go up? Yeah, it goes up, but not by much at all, so I think I'll buy at least like, I think I'll buy like 50 of them and that should be enough for now. 50 teleports is pretty decent and I still have 4k after that. So that's pretty neat and when I do get to, I, I should probably do some rune crafting as well because like being able to craft, craft nature runes is just really good. So anyways we have 50 teleports now so that's pretty neat. So I kind of want to do the golem quest, it is the last requirement for the shadow of the storm quest which is the one that unlocks dark light and I already have silver light which is one of the other requirements aka demon slayer quest which was like one of the first quests that I completed so I for sure have that. But I do need 25 thieving, the 20 crafting I already have. The thing is I am 20, 20 thieving, so I need 5 more levels. And I need to be able to defeat a level 100 demon. I'm not sure if this is going to be just as easy as the, as the other one in the Demon Slayer quest. I can't remember like, and also comparing it to RuneScape 3 is stupid because RuneScape 3 is so easy when it comes to quest bosses and stuff like that. Because it hasn't really been tuned properly. So... I do want to go for this though, so I'm going to be going for 25 thieving and I'm going to be doing it through ham members. And I'm going to spice it up a bit, so every single easy clue that I get, I'm going to complete. And if it does have an item that I need to craft, I need to do something for, I'm going to go for that requirement. So, let's get into this. We just hit 21 thieving and when we did, we actually got a clue scroll on that pickpocket, so that's pretty neat. But this one seems to be an easy one, we can definitely do it. I actually didn't expect this to happen, but I got the reward on step number two, and the reward is absolutely horrible. Two black pickaxes and then some runes and some money. I guess I can sell this to the store or something for maybe some GP, I don't know, but the second clue, also I had to buy the creamy robe top four and the green hat. But anyways, that is the reward from the second one. Let's go back to pickpocketing. So I will be needing a body tiara for this one. The pink skirt and the pink robe top is whatever, I think I can just buy that from stores. However, the body tiara has some requirements. You want to have a body a talisman, which I assume is very easy to get. Then you use that on a body altar as well as with a normal tiara to make it. So I would have to get a tiara, which requires crafting levels, which I do have. But then also you need to get the silver bar for it. And the way you get a silver bar is 20 mining as well as 20 smithing. And the way I'm going to be getting 20 smithing is through doing a quest. I'm going to be doing the knight's sword quest. I think it gives a decent amount of experience. I can't really remember exactly what level you get to. But you get to a pretty goddamn good level to start off with. So I need 5 mining levels. Well... Four, you could say, because I have 11 experience already. And then I'm going to be doing the Night Sword quest, and then I'll make that tiara. But for now, this is going to be the end of this video. So in the next video, I will continue with those clue scrolls and work towards the Golem quest. And I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And if you did, please leave a like. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.